back to my channel. So for this week's video, I tried to make slime, better slime, but then it failed three times. So I just bought slime from the store and mixed it with air dry clay. <laughs> Anyways, I went with something else, which is that thing. So on Pinterest, I saw a picture like this. And then I thought, oh my god, that looks so cute, so I made it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. So first, you'll need a metal embroidery hoop, which I'm creating through a set of wire that I bought. I adjusted the metal to the size I desire. Then I cut the metal ring out. If your metal is not already a circle, you'll need to shape it. Here to close up the gap, I use tape, which doesn't work out well, but I don't have a hot glue gun in Taiwan. After I've secured the gap with tape, I took those two fox ears that magically appeared, totally, and marked where it'll be on the Dreamcatcher. Here I'm taking the string which I'll be using to create the dream catcher pattern to wrap from where the left ear starts and where the right ear ends. I didn't wrap it around the full circle because I want the rose gold metal to show. By the way, I use glue to secure the string once in a while because the string slides off pretty easily. As usual, I just tied it off, secured it with the glue, and cut it off. Here, I'm securing the string. Anyways, to create the pattern, pull the string to the desired distance and wrap it into the loop so it ties around the embroidery hoop. By the way, if you don't understand this, search up another tutorial to get further info. Then repeat it until you reach the starting point. When you reach the starting point, find the midpoint of each section and wrap it around each midpoint. If it overlaps over here, don't worry because it happened to mine too. Now, just keep going until you reach the point when the string pattern becomes very small. By the way, if you feel lost, just try to make as much triangles as you can with the string. You can actually stop at this point where there is a circle in the middle and tie a knot, but I decided to go on. Once I felt like ending this pattern, I tightened it, tied two knots, and cut it off the excess string. Here, back to my magically appeared ears, and now a tail. Anyways, I made sure it is the look I'm going for and added details to the ears. Here I'm tracing the fox tail and the ears on an orange sheet of no sue fabric. And of course, cut them out. Once you've cut out all the shapes, it's time to glue them. Here I glued the fabrics together except for the white part of the ears because I wanted to attach that to the embroidery hoop. Here I attach the ears to the dream catcher. Time, 
And this is what I mean by gluing the white part of the ears onto the embroidery hoop. And at last, the fox tail, which I took two turns to glue on.